Hi friends, welcome to this session on uh, password aging from SNS Technical Training Institute. Uh, in this uh, lecture, we'll look into how we can manage the passwords of the uh, different users who have the access on your Linux system. So there is a command called change change which we'll be using to perform all these activities. So whenever a user has is been created, the default values uh, for that account uh, is being uh, provided to that particular user. So let's take a deep dive and look into it. So let me just create a user add c1. So I've created one uh, user c1 just now and psswd c1 and the new password is let me just give any password so now I've, i have provided the password of the user c1 as well so now if i do c h a g e hyphen l and the the user it was c1 so you will see the last password change it will give you the date and when will this password expire so by right now this password will never expire when will be this password inactive so this password will not be inactive account expiration date is also set never a minimum number of days between password change is zero and maximum number of days uh, between password change is 9999 so and the minimum number of days when the warning message will be displayed is seven so this is by default values which are been set for a particular user whenever we create it now in in order to make some changes uh, whenever you want to make some changes uh, to a particular user to enforce uh, that they change their password uh, you can do it you can use uh, there are different options which you can use so right now a maximum number of days between a password change is 9999 and it's a it's a lot of days uh, so uh, you know that uh, the person uh, it will take a lot of time to have this 9999 days uh, come so if we want to make that change so we can make this uh, change hyphen capital m and we want to make the changes every 30 days and for which user and so it is c1 so now what will happen is like every uh, every 30 days the password will expire and then we have to make sure that the password gets changed every 30 days so this happy capital m will uh, make sure that the password gets changed after uh, 30 days so now uh, if uh, uh, now before on from 23rd days onwards now you will get this warning message you will get uh, that your password will going to expire in next uh, seven days and uh, so the number of uh, days so you will be started seeing those messages because the number of days before warning is seven so this is uh, uh, you will get this uh, message and whenever you logged in uh, after the account uh, 30 days you will have to change your pa password so we can also set the account expiration date that uh, right now the account expiration date is never the account this particular account will never expire so if we want to make the make this account expire after some dates so we can do that so we can capitally and in dates we can give the some date when do we want to 2019 and the format is the yy mmtd and let me make 31 and for which user so this is c1 so now let me just see so now you can see that uh, the password account will expire on 31st may 2019 so you will get this information and password because and the password is expiring every 30 days so you can see here the next password is password expires on 5th Feb 2019 because this is 30 days from now so on these information can be a change using these different parameters which are there so now if you want to make the changes in the number and password inactive so whenever the password expires after how many days you want to lock down the system so that uh, the user has to come to system admin then only he will be able to to the system and unlock that account so for that we have to use the parameter 
capital I capital I and then you can give any number of this and see so we are on C1 so C1 so now if I go ahead and see so you can see uh, now account uh, password inactive is on 15 Feb on 15 password will get 15 for 2019 this uh, account will be uh, inactive from after 15 Feb 2019 the user has to see when user has to come to say admin then only his password will get uh, active so because we have given 10 days grace period so password will expire on 5th uh, of Feb he can make the password change till 15 Feb after 15 Feb uh, he will not be allowed to make the password change and only the uh, root user or the super user will be allowed to make the changes so this is the this is the change which we can do so now if you want to disable uh, all these password aging so you'd like uh, earlier whatever we have the default it was disabled for all the users so now if you want to disable then in that case you have to do chage chage and then small m this zero so minimum number of days it will again make to zero it's already there and then you have to give the username so it's already set there. so this uh, yeah, small m will change the minimum number of days between password change zero so this is one parameter which we have to set Another parameter which we have to set to make sure that uh, this uh, we disable password aging is uh, change hyphen capital M. This is the maximum number of days, and then we can give 9999. This is the maximum which value it will take, and this is for C1. Now, if we go ahead and do check this, so now you can see maximum number of days between password change. Is 999 and the password will not expire and the password will not uh, will not become inactive still the account is uh, getting expired and on 31st May 2019 so we have to use uh, uh, we have to make sure that this parameter is also uh, disabled so for that change uh, and hyphen I capital I because this is the one which we have used to make the change and we have to give minus one and C1 now if I see so now account expire will go so this is for password and so I have to use hyphen E capital E now you will see the account expiration is also uh, never so if you make all these changes then in that case your password will never expire and uh, it this the same password can be used unlimited number of days unless and until you reach 9999 is uh, for your uh, account so this is how you can enforce so now let me just show you from where these default values are uh, popping up so if we can go to cat etc and logging.dev so this is the file from where the the user's uh, password aging is coming from so if you can go here if you can see here so this is the value here so this is the pa the password maximum days 999 password minimum day 0 uh, password minimum length is 5 password warning age is 7 so this is the value which is being picked up and been assigned to all the new users which are being created so just to reiterate uh, the commands which we have used and the parameters which we have used so the first thing so we have used the command chag chag and the parameters which we have used is hyphen m hyphen capital m hyphen i hyphen e and you have also used hyphen l hyphen d hyphen w hyphen
one. So all these uh, all these parameters are there, which we have to use. If you are not familiar with these uh, parameters, and then in that case, you can uh, in your exam time you can also you can also do a man pages man. So you will be able to see what this uh, these options will do. So so it's very important to that you you know from where you have to gather your help in your exam. L is for list, M is for minimum days, M is for maximum days, days, W is for warning days, and I is for inactive days, inactive. So all these parameters are there which you should remember when you want to set uh, an expiration for your accounts for your different accounts. And if you make the changes in your uh, default uh, file and default logins not the file, so all the new users which get created will get that and the default values whichever is set. So hope you are able to understand this uh, password agent. We'll uh, see you in the next uh, chapter. Thank you.